Hi guys, we're starting a new uh, section called Geometry of 2D Shapes. Some of the stuff that um, I'm going to do in this video you will already know from grade 8. But yeah, so you can just rule off after um, straight line geometry and you can write the heading which is topic 13, Geometry of 2D Shapes. Okay, so in this video we're working with triangles and we're working with the three reasons um, in geometry for triangles. The first one is angles in a triangle. So you can just go ahead and say um, reason one, angles in a triangle. And with angles in a triangle, I always know that the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So whatever is written at this vertex plus whatever is written at that vertex plus whatever is written at the third vertex should all add up to 180 because the three triangles, the three angles in a triangle add up to 180. Okay, so I can write that as a statement. And my reason will be angles in a triangle. Okay, so there's, there's it there. I don't have to put in these brackets. I've just put it in to show you, okay, this is one angle, this is another angle, and 2x is the last angle. Okay, so I can actually just drop the brackets. Then I'm going to get my like terms together. So I'll leave the 2x minus x plus 3x on the left-hand side. And then I'm going to bring the 90 over and subtract it. And I'm going to bring the 10 over and add it. Okay, so if I simplify that, 2x minus x, that will give me 1x, plus 3x will give me 4x, and 180 minus 90 plus 10 is 100. And then I can just work out x by dividing through by 4. So 100 divided by 4, that will give me 25 degrees. Okay, so I'm moving on. You can pause the video if you're still um, taking your notes down. All right, the second uh, reason that we're going to work with in this video is the exterior angle of a triangle. Okay, so the exterior angle of a triangle is formed when one of the sides of the triangle is kind of extended. So if you're having a look at the triangle, um, if I extend the one side, right, this here, this outside part, that's the exterior angle of a triangle. Okay, so that is equal to um, the sum of the interior angles. So I'll show you. So say, for example, we just fill in some values here. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the interior angles. So the exterior angle is equal to 2x plus 60. So it has nothing to do with the angle that's next to it. Okay, so that angle doesn't play a role. Um, only the opposite two angles play a part. So 120 minus x, which is the exterior angle, is equal to 2x plus 60, the sum of the opposite interior angles. Okay, so that's going to be my statement. One, 120 degrees minus x is equal to 2x plus 60. Reason, exterior angle of triangle. Then again, I'm just going to uh, get my like term. So I'm going to bring my x to the side and add it. I'm going to bring my 60 over to the right hand side and subtract it. So that's kind of what I'm getting. 2x plus x will give me 3x. And then 120 minus 60, that will give me 60. Divide through by 3 to get your x alone, so x will be equal to 20 degrees. Okay, so that's the second reason um, for angles, for reasons for um, 2D shapes when we're working with triangles. Okay, then the third reason is something called angles opposite equal sides. Okay, this is really important um, because they love to throw this one into exams and stuff like that. Um, and it's really important that you write it exactly the way that I've written it. Angles opposite equal sides. It can't be isos triangle, that's not one. It can't be equal sides opposite angles. No, it has to be angles opposite equal sides. Okay, and what this reason tells us is that if I have two sides that are equal, like this diagram, the angles that are opposite those two sides that are equal will be equal to each other. So for example, if I show you the two angles that are opposite the equal sides, angle A is also going to be equal to 2x. So if I write, I have to write that as a statement so that I can't just, I can't just know that it's 2x. I have to show the marker that I know it's 2x because of angles opposite equal sides. So this is what your statement looks like. So angle A is equal to angle B, which is equal to 2x. Reason, angles opposite equal sides. Then from there, I can work out x by using angles in a triangle. So I'm just going to say 2x plus 2x plus 40 
they should all add up to 180 degrees because the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And then I can solve. So 2x plus 2x, that will give me 4x. Take the 40 over and subtract it. And you're going to get that 4x is equal to 140 degrees. And then from there, I can divide through by 4 to get x alone. Okay, so that's kind of your main three reasons. Angles in a triangle, uh, exterior angle of a triangle, and angles opposite equal sides. Okay, so I'm, sure I'm going to show you an example. Um, I'd like you to take this example down in your books. So maybe pause the video and just copy it down. I'm going to start by working out x. All right, so I need to try and somehow find out x. I can't use angles in a triangle here because I've got an x and a z. In this triangle here, I can't use angles in a triangle because I've got an x, z, and a z. And in the full triangle, I can't use angles in a triangle because at this vertex there's an x, at this vertex there's an x, and this one has a y, right? So I'm definitely not working with angles in a triangle. I must be working with one of the other reasons. Um, okay, I can't be working with angles opposite equal sides because it doesn't tell me any of the sides are equal. But I can work with that other one, so exterior angle of a triangle. Okay, I know that the exterior angle of a triangle, so 3x minus 10, is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angle, so x plus x plus 20. So it has nothing to do with that angle there. So I'm going to write my statement. x plus x plus 20 is equal to the exterior angle, 3x minus 10. Okay, I'm just going to drop my brackets because I don't need them. And then from there I can get my like terms. So I'm going to say x plus x minus 3x, right, is equal to negative 10, and I take the 20 over and subtract it. So if you go and you do the working out there, you're going to find that negative x is equal to negative 30, and then you can just divide through by the negative, and you're going to get x is equal to 30 degrees. Okay, so I've used exterior angle of triangle, and now I know what x is. From there, I'm going to go and I'm going to try and solve for y, and there's only a y over here, right, by this angle C. So I'm going to go and work in this triangle, and I'm, I already know what x is, so now I can work with angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So I'm going to say 15 plus 3x minus 10 plus 2y is equal to 180 degrees. Reason, angles in a triangle. You can drop your brackets. Okay, so... So I know what x is, right? I worked it out to be 30 degrees. So all I can do now is I can just substitute x as 30 degrees. So I've got 3 times 30. That's all I've done in the second step. And 3 times 30 will give me 90. Okay. Then I can solve for y. So I'm going to get y by itself on the left-hand side. I'm going to bring... Um, I'm going to first kind of add my like terms. So 15 plus 90 minus 10. That will give me 95 degrees. Okay, so I've got 95 plus 2y is equal to 180. Then I can just take the 95 over and subtract it. So I'll have 2y is equal to 85 degrees and then divide through by 2 to get y alone. Okay, so I've got y is equal to 42,5 degrees. You can get a decimal, that's fine. If you want to write it as 42 and a half, that's fine. All right, and then the last one I need to do is solve for z. Okay, so if I'm trying to solve for z, z is in this triangle here, and I can use angles in a triangle again. Um, angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So I know what the x's are, so I can kind of work it out. So uh, whatever's written here, plus whatever's written there, plus whatever's written there, is equal to 180 degrees. So all the, the, the angles together add up to 180. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I'm just going to substitute uh, my x as 30 degrees. So I'm going to have 30 plus 20 plus 30 plus z is equal to 180 degrees. So 30 plus 20 plus 30, that will give me 80. And then I can just subtract 80 to get z alone on the left-hand side. And I find that z is equal to 100. Okay, so if you still, I know that I went through that a little bit quickly. Um, I don't want to make the video too long because of everyone's data. So just pause the video and you can take this down. Um, for homework, I would like you to please do exercise 13.1. It's on page 126. And this is what it looks like for those of you that don't have a textbook. 
So you need to solve for x and then you also need to classify. So what I mean by classify is, say for example, um, you get x to be 20. So then you'd substitute, so 2 times 20, 90 minus 20, and then 20 plus 30. Say you get all the angles are equal to each other. So say all the angles are equal to 60. Then you know that it's an equilateral triangle. If you get only two of the angles equal to each other, um, then you know it's an isosceles triangle, that kind of thing. Okay, so good luck. Um, you need to solve for all the unknowns. So if there's an x, y, z, solve for all of the variables.